Oh, we got lots of big immigration stories to get to tonight. First up, California's Governor Gavin Newsom continues his war against low-income and middle-income Americans by building a more powerful magnet to draw illegal aliens to his state, this time by giving them state Medicaid benefits. We are the most un-Trump state in America when it comes to health policy, and I'm proud of that as a Californian, not just as governor of California. And we're providing health care for everyone, regardless of immigration status. If you believe in universal health care, you believe in universal health care. We wanted to be here to celebrate what's right in this country and contrast our approach with the approach coming out of Washington, D.C. All right, that gravelly voice of his does not make him any more persuasive. What's right, he said? Is he kidding us? All right, Gavin, you have runaway homelessness in your state. It's a total crisis right now, most notably in San Francisco and L.A. It's creating filthy and infectious conditions for Californians, and especially those low-income citizens who don't send their kids to fancy private schools. For some reason, this state, and particularly the local officials in Southern California, in, in Los Angeles, the city council, the mayor, refuse to acknowledge what this is. And in the meantime, they perpetrate a hoax. And I cannot understand why. I'll say, and the government, led by Gavin, give it away, Newsom, is so pathetic at addressing this crisis that businesses in L.A. are now planting thorny plants and other stuff around their buildings to try to keep the homeless away. Why Californians keep voting in these destructive and delinquent politicians is completely beyond me. My friends, it's all a Democrat-induced disaster. Instead of focusing on things like, I don't know, mental health and infectious disease problems that are plaguing the state, the politicians in California are spending $98 million more to extend health care to illegals. By the way, that's on top of the billions they already spend on them. The whole country will soon become the next California if these Democrats get their way. We do ourselves no favors by having 11 million undocumented people in our country be unable to access health care. Regardless of whether they're documented or undocumented, we have an obligation to see that they're cared for. Raise your hand if, gov if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. All right, as we consider the national implications of this open borders mania, we should not forget that sanctuary policies like California's have led to tragic results attracting and protecting the most dangerous elements of the illegal population. Police officers murdered in cold blood by an illegal alien deported five times who kept returning back to the state. Others have been gunned down in the prime of their lives. The horrific rape of a young teen by an immigrant who was arrested twice for illegally entering the country. But California's Democrat leadership doesn't like talking about those victims. Instead, they focus their time on vilifying our Border Patrol and ICE. Now, these California Democrats and those seeking national office need to recognize that they were elected to represent the American people and this country, not the people from elsewhere who violate our laws to enter our country.